Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! All aboard my Center Express! Hello guys and welcome to a Christmas edition 2015 that is of the Model Loft. As you can see I've got your screens all decked out Christmassy, well on the station anyhow. We have Santa Claus giving presents out as his uh, Santa special has rocked up this year. I've done a diesel uh, train last year, I did it as a steam one. This year it's diesel. On the front here we've got a Christmas tree and we've got some uh, little market stalls and that all going about their business. Uh, new to the layout and my collection is a brand new Euro, I mean a Alexander Dennis Enviro 500 which is fleet numbered JB65 new and it's part of my new look 23 service which serves East Greens. It's part of uh, James Bonnet Coaches. It's our new livery. One that looks very smart. You come around here, uh, other than some vehicle move rounds, the uh, depot hasn't really changed much. Uh, new addition, we have Sammy Shammy. If you've seen my review of that, you'll know why I have stopped my Atlas editions collections if you haven't please check it out because I'm not commenting on that below because I'll just it'll just start me off in a rant again uh, we have got the jockey trailers building up nicely now I do hope you're enjoying this this series on them more of them will be reviewed as they are released uh, I would like to say thank you very much for getting me to 800 subscribers now you might have seen that on my Facebook page um, yeah, we've made the grand total of 800 subscribers now, uh, just before Christmas Eve that was. So thank you very much for that. Uh, do keep uh, get telling this channel to your friends and your family and anyone else you think might like this channel. And even people further afield across the pond in different countries all appreciate the views. Uh, it's very nice. I do this in my spare time, so to get an audience of 800 people watching my videos is very nice. I know not everyone watches every single video, because not every single video is to everyone's liking. But thank you very much for watching my channel. As do keep subscribing and liking, and yeah. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus. It's all connected to one another now, so. We have everything. This should be a two-parter, but it's all going to be in one part, if that makes sense. I'm filming it in two parts, so I am waiting on a parcel. If by 8pm tonight, which is Christmas Eve, that parcel hasn't arrived, then the video as it, you're watching it now will be just published and then the extra bit won't be added into it, so it all depends. But we are going to be basing this Christmas issue on my model bus fleet. I can't uh, keep away from making these much long, doing this video much longer, so away we go. We've had a few new additions. We've got a nice uh, Wright Eclipse Gemini Mark II double decker during the 23 service. We've got the older Enviro 400s now painted up to join that service as well, better. Uh, everything else you've seen really across here. Uh, I did have to restack this though because it um, decided it wanted to fall down one day so we've got to, uh, have to restack it. Uh, it is a bit better stacked like this actually. Here's a, there's the new not go connect service, the not Glasgow connect that is, around between the uh, fellow model bus fleet operator we have to have some buses stuck there and we have a few more down here we have got to store some I've got quite a few uh, 133 in total I've counted it up as model buses 
And this is the big surprise I've been holding off on. This is a new, or it will be once it's fully finished, new Wolf Pass Lane Depot. It's based opposite the old Wolf Pass Lane Depot, which is now gone. But if it was a real life company, that depot is still there. Um, that which is why the old scenery there has been moved to there. It was that end, it's now that end because it's opposite the road. Uh, I'm waiting on the buildings to arrive. My good friend Terry Otley has built the buildings and even the baseboard on this. I've just added the road markings. Uh, but hopefully, uh, if the parcel arrives in time for Christmas, I will reveal the big surprise of my new company HQ. If not, I'll have to do that in a, another video. But I'm hoping to include it in this one if it arrives in time. Uh, so at the moment I've just parked anything in here because I've got a bus wash and fuel tank and that coming in to this bit as well. So just anything has been plonked in this depot for now. But it does look fantastic. I've even transformed an old little building like that to make a security hook. I need to make a sign for it of course but it will be there eventually. It's a very nice little yard. I will like it even more once the building's in place. And then we go over to my Stirlings of Hucknall Fleet, which is on the Annesley Road depot yard. This is what they look like when they're all parked up. Now, it's basically a hand me down company, anything that's James Bonnet to coaches or the transport company. As a whole, don't want it gets passed to these now. Every company has a hand me down service. Uh, this is inside the little depot. Three rows, or at the back, it's only two rows. Buses because of the turning circle. But yeah, the buses are very, very good. Uh, I did spend, oh, just going off topic now, but the uh, we've got the uh, a new Stobart handbook come out, so that's been transferred over. I've spotted quite a few this year of the new 15 plates, so I was able to transfer them across. So now a few pages actually already complete in my book before I've even started spotting any new ones. I'm not, not, not sure if you're supposed to do that or not, but I've always done it for a few years now. If a new book comes, you transfer across what you've seen so far, so you know what you've got left to spot. It's a lot easier to do it that way as well, rather than just starting again like I used to. Right, this is a fleet list of my transport company for the coaches, well, the buses only, although there's a few lorries on this. We have 133 vehicles in operation plus 15 haulage trucks. So, quite a hefty sized fleet now. Uh, and this is the routes uh, one as well. We've got 24 routes at the moment. No, 25, I should say. I mean, this is 24 at the top. We've got Cruise Liner, the 10, Not Go, City, the Coaster City Express, 11, 11A, uh, 18V. The 23, the 24, the 27, the 35, the 55, the 253, the Villager 256, the 446, F50, F58, we've got the F154, the NST, and then we've got a free bus, um, and then we've got the uh, V38, which starts in the new year. Route to be determined, which is not written in it, but I do need to reprint this off anyway. Eventually, we've then got the Road Runner, and then we've got the Hucknall Town Bus. Then we've got the Village Links Red, the Village Links Yellow. Actually, there'll be 26 services because we've got the uh, Tesco Express service in Hucknall as well. But that's a contract, which is also a free bus. So they're the routes that we do. And then other services, we've got party bus, minibus, hire, coach hire, and then school bus hire. Uh, so, here's the full li fleet list. Don't know whether it's going to pick that up or not. You might have to turn your computer or tablet or however you watch this on your side to watch this, because it's the best way to make me fit this in. If it picks it up, would few. If not, I'm not really going to zoom in for it. 
But it's uh, basically the full fleet. Plus, this one needs to actually be rewritten a bit as well because I've had to add some at the end. Because that's how many I've been buying just lately. But that's got everything. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's my fleet on that. There's a, a few vehicles not appearing on that, and that's mainly the Sterling's fleet because I don't I haven't got around to doing that yet. So the, there's probably more than 133 buses on the road, but I haven't added them onto my list yet. Although there is actually one of them in that yard, which or two of them in that yard that is on the fleet. Well, that about sums up this part of the video. I uh, wish you uh, a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, if I don't see you soon. Um, ignore this saying bye if the other bit turns up. But that concludes so far. And if it doesn't, not turned out up yet, uh, any time soon, then the video will go up as it is, as you're watching it. But if the parcel has turned up by now, we will be cutting into that just now. And so, here we have it. It did turn up after all. So, this is the other bit of the video. Not been cut short. Um, this is the surprise. This is new Wolf Pass Lane Company Headquarters for James Bonnet Transport Group. Still got a few things to do since uh, this building arrived today. I've got like, other bits to do more signs interior for the workshop to build now and uh, we've also got fuel tank and fuel pump and next to that we've got a bus wash so the buses can stay lovely and clean as you can tell from a few minutes ago I've also lined out the yard now the roof of the building does detach and I would show you that once the inside is finished at the moment it is nothing there and the glass at the front does uh, come out because I have got something that's going to go in there and that's these uh, Prezia office furniture once I've built it it'll be all inside there little kits these are that's off um, eBay so that's going to provide a bit of office furniture make it look a bit more real to get some people put in there as well stick it all down then put the glass back in because that bit won't be coming back off because the building will get stuck down then onto the baseboard once everything is in place it's a brilliant little uh, diorama model now side of the building we've got all the companies I own And yes, it's looking the bomb now, as some people might say. Really, really good. Does need a backboard scene in doing, but I've got some of this um, little foamy stuff which I've stuck there. It's what I've used on the Sterling's one, just to create a back scene. They come. They come in quite handy as well. I've just got to get another sheet of that, I think. Just to finish off round the back and down that side. But apart from So, thank you very much for watching this Christmas edition of The Model Loft. I'll see you soon here on the channel with yet more videos in the new year, if not in the f between the f uh, Christmas and the new year period. Uh, until then, guys... Bye.